crowds erupted as the statue of Juan de Oñate came down. It continues this idea of the Spanish conquistador myth that basically that continues as an oppression of native people. So just seeing that, it's a monument to hatred. It's a, a monument to white supremacy. Dozens of New Mexicans stopping by throughout the day to see what's left of the sculpture called La Jornada, which was completed in 2004 to commemorate the Spanish-Mexican colonizer who sought to colonize the Yakima Pueblo. The artist behind it says he's sad to see it coming down. Some people were for it and some people were against it. I'm very happy that I did it. Take great pride in that and uh, I wanted it to preserve the history. Discussions around the statue began in the late 90s. Community members against it telling KWT they knew that it was going to be a problem from the beginning. I'm calling it the Oñate time bomb. We knew it was going to explode. We didn't know when. UNM professor Enrique Lamadrid was on the Oñate Commission Board. He has nothing to do with this valley. And two, the guy was uh, was convicted by his own courts for his abuses. Some believe removing the statue takes away from our history. That's the past, and we know it's the past. Let's keep it there, let's leave it there, and let's, let's be what we are now. Since then, we've evolved. I believe we've evolved. While others say it's a cruel reminder of the abuse and trauma caused to the indigenous people. A person of indigenous background looks at that statute and is horrified and haunted. And so for that, being at the Albuquerque Museum, you know, it, it, what does it say about our city? This project was a complete failure from its start.